Hello everyone, welcome back to Circle Time. I am Mrs. Mo. What is your name? It's lovely to see you all once again today. Do you remember our day of the week song? If you do, well done. If you don't know it, just listen and I'm sure you'll be singing along very soon. There are seven days of the week. There are seven days of the week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good singing everyone and well done. So what is the day of the week? What day is it today? Can I remember yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. That means today is Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. Let's put Tuesday over here. Okay. The day of the week is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Well done and good job everyone. Can you see my board? I have some lovely shapes on my board. Alright, so over here I have a round shape. Can you tell me what shape this is? This is a circle. Yes, well done if you said circle. So this is a circle. Well done. And now I have another shape here. So this shape has four equal sides and it's called a square. Good job and well done if you said square. So this is a square. Well done everyone. Now this is a triangle. Good job if you said triangle. So this is a triangle. Well done for saying triangle. Let's go to the next one. This is a diamond. This is a diamond. Now, next we have an oval, okay? We have an oval. Can you see how long it is? So this is an oval. Now, this is a tricky shape, isn't it? Yes, this is a tricky shape. So the name of this shape is a pentagon. So this is a pentagon. Do you want to count the number of sides with me? So it has one, two, three, four, five. So a pentagon has five sides and it has five angles. Okay, let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a pentagon. Well done, everyone. Let's go to the next one. So this one even looks more tricky, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see how many sides this shape has. Do you want to count with me? Let's count the angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this shape has six sides and six angles. Let's count it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. And do you know what the shape is called? This is a hexagon. It, this is a hexagon. Okay. All right. Well done, everyone. And let's go to the next shape that I have here. This looks like half of a circle, doesn't it? Yes, this looks like half of a circle. Let's see, I have a full circle here and then I have this shape that looks like half of a circle and it is called a semicircle. So this is a semicircle. This is a semicircle. Well done everyone. What did I say this is again? This is a semicircle. Well done and good job everyone. So I have some pictures over here. So I need you to help me sort this out, okay? So I need you to tell me the name of the shape of each object. Are you ready to do that? Yes, well done if you're ready to do that. So first I have a donut. What shape does this remind you of? What shape is this? Yeah, so the donut is a circle. So let's put it right next to the circle. Good job, everyone. Now I have this shape. This is a knot for a bolt. Okay. Can we count how many sides this has? It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this has six sides. So it's called What's, what shape has six sides? Can you remember? That was this one, wasn't it? And what did I call it? 
this is a hexagon hexagon okay so let's put it right next to the hexagon that we have here well done everyone you're doing a fantastic job so next I have this item that we use to hang clothes this is a hanger this is a hanger so what shape is the hanger it's a triangle yes well done if you said triangle so that's a triangle now this is a pizza slice this is a slice of pizza and it's been cut into what shape what shape is this a triangle as well okay well done everyone so that is also a triangle now I have a slice of orange so this is a slice of orange is it round yes this is round like a circle let's put that over there now I have an American football so this is an American football what shape is this can you see it's oblong shape yeah so this is an oval it looks just like the oval that we have here well done everyone so next I have a clock this clock is round and it's round like a circle so the clock is round like a circle I have this mill here is called a tackle so what is it shaped like can you see it looks like half of a circle doesn't it yeah so that looks like half of a circle so that is a semicircle that is a semicircle so can you see the they look alike now so that is a semicircle well done everyone now I have a cracker here this cracker is a square so it's shaped like a square okay let's put that right next to the square this is an egg and the egg is an oval it's shaped like an oval well done everyone so this is a, sh a chess board so we have a chess board here can you see the square it's a it is actually a square and then it has little black and white squares as well can you see the black and white squares so this is a square so we put it right next to this square well done and good job everyone you're doing really well so next i have a slice of watermelon this watermelon has been cut but what shape has it been cut into it looks like half of a circle doesn't it so this is a semicircle so let's put it over here this is shaped like a semicircle good job everyone i have a football here and this football is round but let's focus what is this shape this black shape what shape is this black bit on the football it has one two three four five so it has five sides just like the pentagon okay so this pentagon one two three four five remember it has five sides okay well done everyone so let's go next to this card okay so this is a card this is a playing card and it has a shape in the middle what shape is this that is a diamond so it's shaped like a diamond well done and good job everyone you've been fantastic and you've done a great job so now let's go to the letter of the day what is the letter of the day can you see the letter what letter is that what letter is that X yeah I'm sure some of you are saying X let me bring it closer so this is the letter X this is the letter X and what sound does letter X make letter X makes the X, X sound okay can you hear that X, 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 X sound okay so we have a xylophone X is for xylophone okay so the first letter that starts the word xylophone is the letter x okay so the letter x that's the word xylophone so let's go to the next thing i have here some words end with the letter x there are lots of words that end with the letter x for instance we have fox can you hear the x fox fox so fox ends with the letter x 
and here I have a picture of a box. So here is a box. And can you hear the kss sound at the end of box? Box. So box ends with the letter X. And the letter X in box makes the kss, kss sound. Good job, everyone. You've been fantastic. Now let us learn how to write the letter X. So let me get that. So the letter X has the uppercase X and the lowercase X. If you look closely, they look the same. It's just that the uppercase X is bigger than the lowercase X. So the uppercase X is bigger than the lowercase X. So we'll be practicing how to write both of them at the same time. Okay. So let's put our practice board over here. And I will draw a line. To show the kind of line you have on your notebooks okay so we draw the uppercase X it's just a diagonal line and another diagonal line so that's how you write the uppercase X so now let's write the lowercase X we're just going to make it smaller it's going to be written the same way but we'll just make it smaller okay so we have the diagonal line and then our other diagonal line that crosses it in between so this is the uppercase X and the lowercase X remember to practice your writing every day and that's how you get better at it good job everyone well done you've done a fantastic job today so let's go to our number song let's go to our number song do you remember our number song yes let's count to 20 let's count to 20 would you count with me all do you count with me let's count to 20 let's count to 20 count with me count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20. Good job of fantastic counting everyone. You've been wonderful. Now let's talk about the weather today. What's the weather today? What's the weather like where you are? Have you been outside? Have you checked the sky? What's the weather like where you live? I have checked outside and it is sunny. But where you are, is it sunny as well? Or is it partly sunny with some sunshine and some clouds? Or is it cloudy with lots of cl clouds and you can hardly see any sunshine? Or is it raining where you are? As I said earlier, I've checked and it is hot and sunny today. So let's put that here. So the weather today is sunny. Well done everyone. You've done a good job singing your day of the week song. You've done a good job sorting out the shapes of everyday items that we see around us. You've done a fantastic job learning about the letter X. You've done a wonderful job counting up to 20 in our number song. And well done for talking about the weather today. It's time to go now. Goodbye and I'll see you again next time. Bye.